What is up you guys, I'm Fresh Cut Slim, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video from Nukes Top 5. I haven't reacted to a Nukes Top 5 video in a long, long time. And Nukes Top 5 made great videos that were, um, they're based around spooky stuff and like ghost videos and that kind of crap. And I've, I've really enjoyed them, so today I'm going to be reacting to a Nukes Top 5 video. This video is called Top 10 Ghost Videos So Scary You'll Want Mommy. Anyway. <laughs> Hopefully this will be quite, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's actually not too scary because I don't like getting too scared. But nonetheless, I hope you guys like this. If you do, I may do more in the future. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's begin. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen that intro. There's something in the basement. Me? I'm currently in a basement. Nukes Top 5 viewer Oliver reached out to me about a video he captured in his home in Twin Falls, Idaho. In his email, Oliver says that he recorded a video for his friends with plans to hold a sleepover that same night. In his video, he shows his basement and where he and his friends will be sleeping. But what happens next is literally like something from a nightmare. That's a nice drum set. No, it don't. It's really cool. They have drum sets that are um, electronic, so they don't make that much noise. You just hit them, and then you can either plug it into speakers or ear earphones, so that way you aren't waking up your parents or neighbors. Side note. That's spooky, but I mean, you say you're having a f sleepover and there's literally no one else here. So I assume the person, I assume that's just one of your friends wearing a top hat. I'm gonna turn the volume down though, so I don't get too scared. Is that, is that Mr. Sandman? Bring me a dream. What Make him the cutest. As Oliver looks see. inside the bedroom, he sees a tall dark figure standing in. Oh, it's not wearing a top hat. Inside the room. <laughs> I thought I was wearing a top hat. Startled by the creepy apparition, Oliver stumbles back before turning on the lights and taking another look. But whatever was standing To me, this one seems fake. Standing there seems to have just disappeared. What makes this footage even creepier is that when slowed down, it becomes clear that whoever or whatever this is seems to be wearing a hat. That's what I thought, but I don't think so. So if you don't... I thought it was a top hat, but I think that's just part of the background. I don't know. Across the world, countless people have reported seeing a being known as the quote, Hat Man. Although some claim to have seen the apparition while fully awake, the Hat Man is known to- the, I'm, I'm familiar with this. I'm familiar with people seeing this, but in this specific situation, I think that video is probably just him and a, like, and a friend messing around or something like that, you know? Cause like, it's not like you went back so the person had time to go hide again that you came back again, they're gone. That, at least to me, I'm not saying it is, but that's like, to me, it just seems that way. Terrorized victim. Give me something real spooky. Give me something real spooky, nuke. ...of sleep paralysis. I asked Oliver if he had ever experienced sleep paralysis in his life, and he explained that he actually did. I have. It's terrifying. And when I was younger, I haven't, not in a long time, but, and I didn't experience it where people say that they, like, you see entities and crap in it. I haven't had that, but I've had it where you can't move and then it's like you're trying to get out of it. It takes so long. It's terrifying. But I've only had it maybe uh, just a handful of times, small amount, and I haven't had it in a long time since. But only when he was a child. Same. So could Oliver have actually captured proof of the hat man's existence? Let me know what you think. So spooky. Out of the mud. Earlier this year, the usually sunny town of Chosica, Peru, suffered heavy rains and mudslides that washed through the city. The national news reported on the severe damage left behind and talked to residents who have come together to clean and rebuild the city. But there is something else in this news report that seems a bit out of place and downright. See, if it's an actual news report, like from the from the uh, like a news station, and it's actual footage that isn't from like a, some random person. Like a news station, they have other things to do than be faking <laughs> apparitions and stuff, right? Now, obviously, someone could be trolling the news if they know the news is there. But that's a lot harder to, to fake that than it is 
if it's just you at your house with like a couple friends that you could fake stuff or whatnot, right? You, you know what I see what I'm saying? Creepy. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo, Comité 6. Mira la escalera. ¿Cómo podría bajar aquí una persona, un anciano? Los niños, ¿cómo podrían? There's no way that's in an actual news report. Bajar, mira. Did you see it? While the reporter is showing the water and mud rushing down the stairs, behind her someone or something completely covered in mud appears to follow her. Is that actually like, could I go on YouTube and find this clip from an actual like news station? If so, that's crazy. The reporter doesn't notice the bizarre figure and continues up the stairs as she finishes her report. The footage goes viral with many shocked viewers speculating the figure to be some kind of creature or monster. Either way, whoever or whatever it is seems to not be wearing any- It's got like freaking really long arms or something. You see this right here? That's, uh, that's cool, okay? That's cool and creepy. And especially if it's on an actual news report where it's not like they're trying to fake it, you know? That, that'd be a lot, uh, you know, uh, more of, of a case for it being real. Any clothes, have any hair, and seems to have distorted features. Obviously, it seems like any normal person fighting through these conditions would be at severe risk of being washed away in the flood, or at the very least becoming very sick from the muddy, bacteria-filled water. So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. That is a cool one. Like, I think this is a lot more believable as being real than the last This next creepy video was posted to TikTok without a source. Some people speculate that the original creator is none other than popular Jordanian ghost hunter Ihab Kasmia, who I featured many times. But I've been unable to find the original video, so I can't verify. However, the short video is definitely very creepy. Oh, frig. Ew. Looks like a person's eye, though. Doesn't look fake, really. Or it doesn't look like it's a, an apparition thing. It's gonna move. Gee. It kind of reminds me of... Let me see if I can find it here real quick. <laughs> How do I bring this on a screen without it, like... Give me a second here. Give me a second. Okay. Here it is. I'm gonna bring it, bring it on the screen right here. <laughs> Look at that eye. See, see that eye. It reminds me of, it reminds me of this eye right here. <laughs> it reminds me of. It. <laughs> okay, enough of that. But that's what that's what that eye reminds me of. It reminds me of that image. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. See, that looks real. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It wouldn't be hard to fake that. Like, I could edit that. But it looks real. Bismillah. I thought there was something here, brothers. Huh? Did you hear the sound? The sound of God. I probably would be leaving if I was in this situation. If you seek refuge, you probably should, you know, leave and not just be sticking around. Isma. So what is wrong? Boo! Isma. A face can be seen staring through the crack of the door at whoever is filming. They quickly run around the door, but there's no one there. Some believe the face to be that of a djinn, a shape-shifting sinister entity that seems to be toying. More like a Jack's son. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having way too fun, uh, much fun with this. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of ruining the spooky mood. With the explorer. Now, without the original source and video, we just don't know exactly what's going on here. Is it a gen caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Like, see, it it looks real, like this. 
But what I would do, like if I was trying to fake it, I guess, I would have someone behind there. And then as I am like running, like turning the camera and then I'm running into the other room, I would have a cut or I'd kind of try to create a lot of motion in the camera when I'm like running. That way I could bring in another, uh, another, uh, another edit or another scene where I would then have the person leave the room and then there'd be nothing in the room, right? So that's what you could do if you were faking it. Whether this is fake, I don't know. Paranormal Nightmare. Paranormal investigators and brothers Josh and Sean Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series are contacted by a woman named Cheryl. Cheryl believes a demon is destroying her life. In a tragic series of events, Cheryl's father passed away and not long after, her fiance sadly took the lives of both of her children. Oh, okay, that's friggin' sad. What the frig? Cheryl is now completely alone and lives in absolutely horrible conditions in a very bad neighborhood. In 17 years, Josh and Sean say that they've never encountered a case as tragic and dangerous as this. The brothers even feel that their own personal safety could be at risk in this investigation. But nevertheless, they drive to Cheryl's home to- Dude, that's a just really sad backstory. If that's true, that's just really freaking like depressing. To investigate. The guys soon begin to understand exactly why Cheryl believes that she might be dealing with a demon. I hate God. I hate God. Holy It said, I hate God. They're doing like they- Why do you hate God? ESP thing? God is gonna destroy you tonight. Where are you at right now? Are you watching us? Worthless b Worthless b Who's a worthless b Come on, tell me who's a worthless b I think you're worthless. Possessed. Possessed. That's what we want. Oh, no Lord. way. That's f***ing crazy. Possessed, that's what we want. Oh, something, 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 turn on, go out there, go. This is freaking wild. Like, if you look at this from a biblical perspective, like, it could be a demon. And, you know, you, you can get them to go away. I personally have had my own experiences with them. And, uh, yeah, and they're, they're annoying, but you can get them to go away. Something turned on out there. Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? You want an extra large Big Mac well, at McDonald's yeah. right through? Something just blew on my neck. Here, you stand on here for this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Nope. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my freaking hip. I did not hit anything. Like right, right when I walked by, something just grabbed hold of my hip. The two brothers received very ominous replies through their spirit box, and Josh says something grabbed his hip. Sean begins to feel a pain in his stomach and takes a break outside in the car. I was feeling that like when I started this video because I haven't eaten <laughs> today. <laughs> Nonetheless, if I was in this situation, I would get out. I do not need, like I don't get people who do this as like a, I don't know if it's a living for them or whatever, but I don't get people who do this. I get that there's a fascination with it, but you know, if you're dealing with these entities, like why? Just leave. Just leave. Let them live their own, you know, whatever remaining time they have. Just leave them alone. I, I get because they're, I guess because they're trying to help this lady out, right? And in her situation, I'd be like, okay, I got to sell this trailer. And if it's following her around still, then you got to go seek, you know, spiritual help, I'd say. While Josh stays behind. Please listen. Man. What the frig? <gasps> No way. Loud bang. Said, please listen, and then a huge freaking bang back there. Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why? Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just like little touches. These are big fucking touches. While Josh is completely alone, he hears two loud bangs coming from somewhere inside Cheryl's home, after which he is- I kind of want to add, <laughs> maybe I will have, but I kind of want to add the, uh, 
beginning of the Rickroll song when it says, please listen. I kind of want to add that in there just to kind of mess with people. It's touched again. After a short break, the two brothers switch places, and whatever seems to be inside Cheryl's Where was the home other one? seems to get very angry. Go to hell, Sean. Holy f you. you. Do we get anything else in this video besides, you know, the audio? Do we do we see anything, or is it just the audio stuff? Because I'm not saying that I'm bored, but I kind of want something else, some other meat here. All. Oh. <laughs> You're a f you. Oh my god, I'm not going to fing hell. You are. You're going back where you fing came from. Holy sh this is where I need fing Josh. Oh my god. Yeah, where I. Why did they split up? Did they. Did it. Did did he mention why they split up? I don't remember hearing that. Like, why why weren't they in the same area? And where, where was the other one? Was one of them outside or something? They were definitely dealing with a freaking demon. To end their investigation, they asked Cheryl to sit in the house alone and attempt to communicate with what they now believe to be a demon. Josh and Sean sit outside in the car. They just dip and leave her alone? Okay, you're gonna go in there and you can deal with it. Bye. What happens next scares the living out of them. It's followed them now, that's funny. Oh, 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 me. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I looked over and there was a huge black shadow right there next to the window. Holy, let's just get out of here. That's what I'm saying. Like, I forget, as soon as, as soon as stuff like that would happen, like, all right, yeah, you've got, you got an issue. Bye. <laughs> this. A strange, unexplained dark mass hits the car window, giving Sean the jump scare of a lifetime. Oh, you do actually see it. Okay, at least we're getting some. We're getting something else more than just like audio stuff. Because audio stuff, you can edit that in, right? You could fake that if you wanted to. I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but I'm saying just from the perspective of I want to see more. And with that, the paranormal nightmare brothers have had enough. They cleanse the home and leave. Since the investigation, Cheryl says that she has no longer had any paranormal or demonic trouble in her home. Oh, that's good. Good, for good, very good. Or in her life. You can watch this entire inve- That's really good. Good for her. Or good for them for doing that for her. These guys were there for like a day or something, right? And their, their life is turned upside down. So I couldn't imagine her life, which is like every day dealing with that. I guess before, right? Investigation over on the YouTube channel. Paranormal Nightmare yeah, make sure you TV go check them series. Out. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. Ghostly guest. I think that one was probably real. Cassie O'Malley from Lamont, Illinois loves monkeys. So when one day she receives a monkey doll as a gift. She For that, I, I just have to look at that and I can say, nope. I don't even have to. <laughs> if I receive something like this, I feel like... <laughs> Maybe we should use this for the thumbnail. That just looks hor horrifying. She's absolutely thrilled. Oh my gosh. That is until she opens the box. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me, oh my For a split second, the creepy monkey doll seems to look direct- I don't freaking see any- any- the eye movements. Oh, I do! Oh, frig! Oh my gosh! Nope, get rid of that. Cassie. Oh my God, I swear to God, this thing just fucking looked at me. Oh my. Cassie says she's tried everything. That's crazy. Frig that. And to debunk what she captured on camera, but she hasn't found anything to. Ex See, if 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 you film this yourself and this happened to you and you aren't faking it because you know you aren't faking it, right? If you if this is your own experience and then you're going back on the footage and it confirms that you. Like you thought, oh, I thought I saw this happen, and you go back on your footage and you see that, oh, it actually happened. That would be crazy. And in that situation, get rid of the monkey. Why would you keep it around? Throw it out, get rid of it, whatever. Explain it. After this recording, the doll hasn't stirred up any trouble. So Oh, that's it? That's all the doll that's all the issues that you had? For now, Cassie is keeping the creepy And she kept it. Little monkey doll proudly on display in her home. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take the risk. But what would you do with a gift if it did this. 
I would throw it the frig out. I don't care if that's the only incident you've had. Obviously, it, it started with this thing. Get rid of it. Let me know down in the comments. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me. Oh my fucking Not Home Alone. Now, unfortunately, like a lot of videos these days... Yeah, that was a, that was a wild one. I think, I think that's probably real, too. And... In her situation, I'll just throw it out. Why? Why she kept it? If she has other issues, she can't be mad at anyone but herself because she kept it. This next video was shared to the internet without a source. The video shows a woman alone at her home, which is said to be somewhere in Mexico. The woman says that she's been experiencing disturbing, unexplained activity in her home. In her bowels. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Why? Well, okay. Hace unos días yo sentí que había algo. Realmente yo estoy solo ahorita. Pero hace rato vi en ese cuarto como que una sombra. No sé. Bien, bien, bien. What? What? I don't see anything. Where? In the door? Yo realmente estoy solo. Bien. Está completamente solo. Is that too three couches and the bed is that a bed here why would you have three like i don't know they're not i don't know if they're love seats or whatever but you got two of those and you got like a chair here but you also have a bed that's kind of odd on my house i guess okay yeah there's some kind of shadow out there And you got more couches out here. What the f Wait, what's going on here? Why do you have so many couches? It's not even related to the spookiness. Why do you have so many couches? I have none, okay? Zero. I have none. I have no place for anyone to sit. No one ever comes over here. How many people are you getting over there? I have none. Can I have one of your couches? <laughs> and you got a table, dining table there. And hey, there's another couch. I'm sorry that I'm I might be ruining the mood. I just don't understand. That's supposed to cast away negative energy. That thing. <laughs> that does. That looks like it might be, do the opposite. A shadow appears through the glass of the closed door of the woman's bedroom. But when she looks, there's no one in the room. So That's a bedroom. So it is a bedroom. That is a bed. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, wait, why do you... Why? Three freaking couches in your bedroom? Or two couches and a, and, a, and a chair in your bedroom? Only the figure appears again, but this time outside of the bedroom. Again, the woman hurries out to search her home, but again, she finds nothing Is that and no all that's one this video? to explain the creepy shadow. Unfortunately, without a source, we can only guess what happened to the woman and her creepy shadow visitor. That's all that there is to this then? I mean, so it could be, it could be real. It looks real, but it could just be someone on the other side of the door walking back and forth. But if, if they have no YouTube channel, if they have no TikTok or whatever, and so you don't actually know where the source of this is, then it doesn't make sense for them to fake this because, like, if you post this on TikTok or whatever, right, you're you're going to get attention and you're going to get some kind of publicity. So I could see, you know, why someone would be inclined to fake something like this, right? Because then they get publicity, they get followers, whatever. But if it's if you can't find them, if you don't know who they are, if there's no source, if there's no channel for people to subscribe to, then there's no point of even faking this because you're not going to get... Like, there's no reason behind it. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying the other people who do have TikTok or, like, some of the other videos where they have YouTubers doing, doing this stuff. I'm not saying that they are faking it, but I'm saying in this situation here, this seems extremely real because, like, what is the motive behind it? Anyway, I've been recording for way too long, so I'm going to end the video here. I didn't even... I made it around halfway through. I hope you guys liked it, and I, I, 
I'm sorry if I kind of ruined the spookiness because I was just kind of joking around from part of it. But uh, yeah, I, I, I liked it and I, I kind of like messing around in these videos. It's kind of fun. But uh, yeah, uh, make sure you go check out the rest. Uh, the original link's in the description. And if you like this, I may do more in the future. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time.